We have a question from Joshua. Oh, a very interesting set of names today. Can you discuss your experiences, Joshua asked, with the meat, leaves, and berries diet that you did? And did, um, you say did there, that's basically still what I do now. Um, we called it meat, leaves, and berries back in the day because it was just a handy way to do it. So like I told you, I've mentioned many times at the Olympic Training Center, the nutritionist said, I don't get what the big deal is. And she said, protein, veggies, water. Uh, Rob Wolf told me later on, I don't know what the big deal is. Rob said, Pro, uh, more protein, more fiber, more fish oil. Uh, meat, leaves, and berries is another attempt to have meat, leaves, and berries. Meat can be anything with a face. So that's fish, fowl, meat. Um, leaves is vegetables, berries is fruit. Though I have learned in my life that I tend to actually do better with berry berries. Uh, <laughs> blueberries and blackberries and those uh, my body seems to really like those and apples too, man. I don't know why I don't eat it twelve like twelve apples a day. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting because my daughter can't eat them. Makes her very sick. <laughs> it's funny how that happens to people. But yeah, uh, basically it's still what I do. Um, so I, at every meal I, now I try to have a protein source and um, um, berries of some kind. What's great about the meat, leaves, and berries idea is that it, it really opens your eyes to changing meals. Like um, you, you take, when you cook, you know, chicken thighs, and I, I think I'm a big fan of chicken thighs, okay? You, you bake chicken thighs and then, you know, you have 12 of them and you eat, you eat some for dinner. And then you just, when they cool down after dinner, you know, you, you, you take the meat off and you put it in the thing. And then you add, you know, when you go off, like next day for breakfast, you 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 take um, you you take. Uh, I like those salad mixes. There's one that's really good. I can't remember what they call it, but it's got like six different s s lettuce varietals in there or whatever. And you throw that in there. You throw the you throw the cooled off chicken thigh meat in there. Uh, you throw in blueberries. You throw in strawberries. You throw in anything. And you add a reasonable, you, you mix it around with a reasonable uh, dressing. And there's your breakfast. Uh, that can also be your lunch. That can also be your dinner. That can also be uh, what one of my athletes did. He just made these massive bowls and he put them in his work fridge. And that massive bowl of vegetables and berries and meat, his goal was to eat that every day. So when he got to work, he would have his morning coffee and have a, you know 20 forkfuls of that and then a couple hours later in his break he would have more forkfuls and then look and so you know uh, of course it, it always comes down to this why was he a great athlete and some of the other people not a great athlete i just told you you know it's because he would you know <laughs> he was every single meal he was being an elite athlete eating elite foods so no i still do it joshua it's just i i i guess i just I just emphasize the vegetables, you know, and, uh, uh, my goal, as everybody knows, is to eat eight different vegetables every day. And I'm, and I'm spot on it almost every, uh, heck some days I'm way above that and, and 14s and 15s cause I actually count, but, uh, it's just a different, it's semantics. Okay. Thank you.